Chevyland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Well, well, well. Back Are in you? person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just thinking, I just wish I knew which cordless drill would be the best <laughs> you for know, me. You know, now soon you're going to get married and you're going to be buying gifts. Maybe, is he handy? Did we no, talk about this? sadly, we wouldn't even know what to do with one of these things. So then <laughs> okay. we just call a guy. Well, we call a guy. Okay, well, I'm your guy. All right. And uh, the thing, so here's the thing, uh, and I hate to admit this, but I am old enough to be one of the first contractors back in the 80s that yeah. used a cordless drill Ooh. when it was first invented. Okay. And they lasted about 10 minutes out of charge. <laughs> and we charge. thought it was amazing, yeah, right? Yeah, 10 yeah. minutes out right, of battery, right. that's unbelievable. But they were rinky-dink and yeah. garbagey, and, and the technology has come a long way. But the problem is there's still cheap stuff out there, so I want to show you a few. That rinky dink, this is rinky dink. Okay. But this is about $30. It's a black and decker tool. What's unique about this thing is it's got the bit thing right in the top of it where you can store all the bits that you need. This is not a drill, this is a driver. If you're buying IKEA furniture and you want to put it together, uh, you want to put toys That'll together work. and that kind of stuff. All of these batteries, what's unique about these, Robin, is they all have lithium ion batteries. When they are fully charged, this is the beauty of this. This you can put in the kitchen drawer and forget about it for 18 months, the battery will still retain 80% of its charge. But you said that's rinky dink, so that means there's not much battery life in it that one? It doesn't last long. Okay. It's like that one I had in the 80s. Okay, got it. This is a Craftsman. Now, the next two I'm gonna show you are, the, the issue with them is that they have these 20 volt batteries, and yeah. it's part of what they call a system. So if you buy this drill, okay, and this drill's about 80 bucks. Yeah. One battery, one charger, that's it. Simple, it's a drill driver, it's got a, what they call a keyless chuck, a clutch on here, a couple speeds on here, fast and slow. You're getting in the weeds, Lou. Here we go. Wait. Now, you yeah. buy the Craftsman saw, you buy the Craftsman sander, whatever. Yeah. They all use the same battery. The battery's where all the money's at. And so you can buy these tools, what they call tool yeah. only, and then you already own the battery and you pop this thing in and you can do a lot of things. Got it. This is one of my favorites. All right. I use these tools myself. The DeWalt line, this is a compact line right here, and this is a drill driver. LED lights pop on so when you're working in the dark. I always thought that this was, why do I need a light? Yeah. And then I got older and I'm like, I need a light. <laughs> and so when you're working on it and you're working in tight spaces, this thing shines a light on there. Same thing, part of a system, the 20 volt. For a while, all these drills were all about, oh, I'll do 30 volt, 40 volt, 50 volt. They've all kind of settled at around the 20 volt and with the battery technology this too this one is about hundred and eighty dollars but you get two batteries a charger and this lovely handbag oh I all mean, for the low low cost of hundred and eighty dollars but if you take care of this you'll have this for the rest of your life you just As have to know owner. how to use it. You just need to know what it is, which and now you, you do, do, and how to use it. Oh, Lou, yeah, always some great tips. You Thank can listen you. to Lou's House Smarts radio show on WGN Saturday, 6 to 10 a.m., and he's got that YouTube channel where he shows you how to do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, There's got the a good uh, one info. there about our kitchen makeover. Check it out. Ooh. You'll love it. All right. Beautiful colors. Thanks, Lou. <laughs> hey, Paul.